Welcome to my channel Lenovate. Today we are going to discuss about the wrist joint or the radiocarpal joint. This wrist joint or the radiocarpal joint is a cylindrical ellipsoid type of the synovial joint and it is formed between the carpal bones and the radius bone. The ulnar bone that is present on the medial side of the forearm is not going to take part in this wrist joint as this wrist joint is an important joint of the hand and it allows some of the movements including the flexion, extension, abduction, adduction and some more circumduction in the rotational direction. And this is a very important joint for providing a free limb movement towards the proximal and the distal digits. So we are going to discuss the articulation, the ligaments, the blood supply and the movements of this wrist joint that is present in between the bones of the hand. Now coming to the articulation of the wrist joint, it is formed between the distal end of the radius with the proximal row of the carpal bones except one bone that is the pisiform present in the proximal row of the carpal bone. The three bones that involve in the radiocarpal joint is the scaphoid, lunate and the trichotron. The pisiform will not going to take part in the wrist joint. While that of the ulna that we have discussed is also not going to articulate in the formation of wrist joint. Then coming to the ligaments that are present in the wrist joint. Now the ligaments are of three types including the parmal radiocarpal ligament, the dorsal radiocarpal ligament. The parmal is present on the palm side like this side of the hand also called as the anterior side of the hand. So this parmal radiocarpal ligament is present on the parmal side while that of the dorsal is present on the posterior or the dorsal side of the radiocarpal joint. Then comes the two other collateral ligaments that are the ulnar collateral ligament on the ulnar styloid process and the carpal bones that are present on the middle side and the radial collateral ligament that are present on the radial styloid process towards the carpal bones on the lateral side including the scaphoid. Now before coming to the movements, I want you to get easily explained through a diagram. We are going to discuss the articulation and ligaments by diagram. Now if we view only this part, here you can see the carpal bones that are arranged in 8 numbers in the proximal row and this was the distal row of the carpal bones. Starting from the lateral side, coming from the scaphoid, then comes the lunate, the trichatrum and above the trichatrum is the presence of a pisiform bone. This pisiform bone will not going to take part in the radiocarpal joint that we have discussed. Now coming to the radial side of the carpal bones. This radius bone is going to articulate with the carpal bones by a joint, wrist joint and the ligament present here is we call as the radio, radial collateral ligament. Here you can see it's going to attach from the radial styloid process towards the scaphoid bone. While on the ulnar side it attaches from the ulnar styloid process towards the trichotrum uh, that is the medial bone of the carpal bones. While that of there is the presence of anterior or the parmal radiocarpal ligament and on the dorsal side there will be presence of a dorsal radiocarpal ligament. And here you have seen the articulation and the ligaments. Now the movements provided by the wrist joint including the flexion that is provided by the flexor carpi alanus and the flexor carpi radialis. The extension of the wrist joint is provided by the extensor carpi radialis longus and the radialis brevis. The adduction that is also called as the ulnar deviation or the medial deviation is provided from the extensor carpi alanus and the flexor carpi alanus. While that of the abduction or the radial Lateral direct deviation is provided from the flexor carpi radialis and the extensor carpi radialis. So these four movements are possible in the wrist joint because of the ellipsoid type of the synovial joint. Now coming to the blood supply of the wrist joint. The blood supply includes the dorsal and the palmar branches of the radial artery. The innervation of the wrist joint is from the median nerve, the ulnar nerve and the radial nerve will going to innervate the wrist joint. 
सो दिस वॉज यूर नेक्स्ट आई होप यू बी एक्सप्लेन वेल थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर